Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Welcome to your bonus reading. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. And today is the 6th of January, 2023. Time is um, 10.03 a.m. here in Bali, Indonesia. Yep, I just arrived to Bali last night. So, but anyway, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Capricorn need to hear today. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. <clears throat> this for me indicates um, something about because the Three of Wands here in one first could be something or someone you've turned your back on, and unbeknownst to you, this person or this thing. Okay, it could be related to your careers for some of you, and for some of you, it could be related to love. Because the Ace of Pentacles, you've already turned your back on. Possibly the King of Wands, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, can be any sign, but a lot of fire that I'm getting here. And for some of you, it could be you turning your back, after you turn your back on certain things that you are very passionate about or something that you've been desiring. The moment you turn your back on these things or these people or one person in particular, it feels like with the Ace of Pentacles, suddenly you're being gifted e either that opportunity to to reignite um, your passion or to make use of your passion or your talent, uh, whatever you've been desiring, I think it's going to happen. But it, you know, it feels like you may have given up on it. Something that you have given up on or someone you may have given up on is going to suddenly offer you something here. And the high priestess for me can be an indication of um, how this was supposed to happen this was supposed to happen um it feels like because the high priestess is the all-knowing right has all of the information maybe this was already written in the stars um but i still feel like again cap it takes you you know forgetting about this person or forgetting about this passion desire or forgetting about this talent that's something for some of you cap you've been meaning to uh, use your certain ta like talents or something it could be anything that you're so passionate about that you may have thought you know hmm I'm gonna forget about it the hangman here in my verse I'm waking up to the fact that this is reality it's never gonna happen the king of wands in my verse sort of like feeling unmotivated unmo and ten of cups in my verse feeling like maybe there is no future of this you know whatever that i want to pursue here again cap some of you this is a career this is career related some of you it's a love related if it's love related i think this person could be either a water sign or a fire sign water as in pisces cancer scorpio or fire aries sagittarius leo so then when you turn your back on these things, then suddenly from one one, you know, A's the ones in world first, just one to now eight, it feels like it's coming like full force even more than before. Like if also it feels like one door closes, many other doors open and you will have to possibly make a choice. Um, for some of you, it's someone you've turned your back on and then you haven't talked to this person in a while. You may have felt rejected by this person or this person may have rejected you. And then suddenly there's this communication coming in with either one, some kind of movement. You might see some signs or they may reach out to you or and there's an offer here, Ace of Pentacles. And for some of you, it's you being done with a situation, with a person, with a career. And then now, and you're going to feel like it's the best thing that, that has happened to you something that didn't work out here okay that with the ten of cups you're up first you just couldn't see a future in this 
situation. Page of Wands in reverse, giving up, like, and with Ace of Wands here in reverse, giving up on hope that it could even, you know, uh, flourish into something more, grow into something more. You know, there's another giving up energy with the Seven of Wands here in reverse. So, feels like something you've given up on, Cap, is gonna either resurface, and once it resurfaces, it feels like it's even going to be better than you anticipated, okay? Or something that you've given up on that took you a while is actually the possibly the best thing that, <laughs> that ever happened to you because it opens up even more doors with Eight of Wands here, even better ones with the Ace of Pentacles. So it feels like the High Priestess is, um, the High Priestess is a very mysterious card. This is how the universe works. The universe works in such mysterious ways that you're gonna be so glad that it, it has happened that this has happened if somebody has turned their back on you or you have turned their back on this person or if you've turned down or some a company may have turned you down a, you know a job offer or it could be a project a business can be anything something you've give, given up on something that you thought you failed in it and nothing ever is gonna come out of it i feel like some of you something will come out of it okay even better a, a better something okay or this person or the situation will turn around and maybe it's this person seeing things in a different perspective and starting to realize something here may want to talk to you about it with the eight of ones and then offer you a commitment sometimes i do read the high Priestess as a marriage card i actually did read um, do a reading for a friend of mine with his, her now husband at that time they were only dating for like one week so they were still so new and I read their cards and I I predicted that they would get married with this card with the high priestess because there's um there's a what do you call the cross here it felt like marriage at that point in time when I so this felt like it too, Cap, for some of you. It's an offer of a marriage, Ace of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Like, it's going to happen. It's, it feels like, okay, the High Priestess, um, it's like a mystery, quietness. Like, it's also very assuring. So there's this energy of, you know, the universe trying to assure you. This is going to happen. What you want is going to be, it's going to happen. Um, what you've turned your back on, what have disappointed you in the past, may may either resurface or that better opportunities are coming. Um, it could be that or that. So, but anyway, my friend is is married. <laughs> is married to this guy. Um, I think they dated for one, two, one to two. I think. Wait a minute. Just recently, they got married. Actually, like they've been dating since. COVID, so like two, three years around there. So maybe it will take some time. That's what I'm getting here, the high persists, but it's going to happen anyway, okay? Um, yeah, that's your reading, Capricorn. This is, hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a couple of playlists. It's on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel folk channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of um, of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day and I upload them right away, twice a day even. You don't have to watch all of the readings if you don't want to. Just watch whichever that you feel drawn towards, okay? I post a lot, so <laughs> bear that in mind. But anyway, take care, Cap. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.